Hey, just a couple of quick ones before we go, Pete. There's more warnings this morning over gas supplies in Victoria, in your state. Are you expecting AEMO yep. to intervene again? Well, look, there, there's obviously a, a somewhat of a perfect storm in energy markets at the moment. Um, and look, this has been undermined by, frankly, chaos in policy for the last decade. And, um, you know, you'll say the, the previous government did know that prices were going to go up on the 1st of July and they did they hid that information from the public. That's really important to note. And we've had a shortage of gas. Um, you know, we've got three times higher usage in winter. We've known we've, it's a pretty cold down here in Melbourne, as you yeah. know. We've got three times usage of, 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 of normal usage. We've got booming exports, which has happened. And we've, of course, got the sanctions on Russia, which has squeezed, squeezed gas supply globally on top of everything else. So it's kind of a perfect storm. And, of course, you guys in New South Wales, you don't produce gas, so you've drawn on Victorian supplies as well. So that's a, had an impact. I, I've got to say the energy minister and the Albanese government did hit the ground running. And on the short term, they work, you know, obviously hand in glove with states and industry. Um, around the rebates. It's a difficult period, so encouraging people to take up those energy rebates to relieve the pressure to get that temporary relief. But there is a medium and long-term uh, policy, uh, uh, you know, uh, work that has to be done around getting more energy into the market, um, and more cheaper energy into the market, more renewables into the market to relieve that pressure in the medium and long term. Um, OK, Peter Khalil, we'll have to leave it there. We'll talk to you again soon. Appreciate it.